Hello everybody, this is Haley from HaleyWithAFlare.com and today we are going to be talking about Keen. So before we get started, if you are new here, I am a travel and lifestyle blogger, so please hit subscribe and that bell so you can be notified when I have new content. All right, Keen, what is it? Keen is Google's answer to Pinterest in essence. So when you go over to Pinterest, you have boards and pins. Here you have a Keen and you just put your articles in here. So if you are a content creator like myself, you know how important it is to stay up on the latest and greatest tips and tricks that are happening. So let's get started. So Keen was started about three weeks ago <laughs> by some creators over at Google. Right now it is only available on the Android device. So if you are on Apple like myself, you are kind of SOL and will have to deal with the web and mobile browser version. So I'm going to show you the difference here between my keen, my Pinterest. We're going to go over what to put in your keen. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I promise it's worth it. This is the latest and greatest on what you can actually do at this point in time. So as you'll see here, I have a few keens with little photos and whatnot. So I have different subjects for each keen. So keen is the actual subject you're interested in. This is my Pinterest page. Here's all the pins. There's my profile. It's very colorful. And where you notice the big difference right off the bat is the way that keen looks versus Pinterest. So when you see those keen squares, keep in mind those are supposed to be similar to the board squares over here on Pinterest. So they look a little sleeker over here on Keen, but you know, Pinterest has had the monopoly on this and has been great for content creators so far. So another thing to keep in mind is that this is really great if you're a new content creator, it's kind of leveling the playing field. Pinterest, it can kind of feel like an uphill battle when you're creating new content. So, all right, let's see here. Where do we wanna get started? All right, so to create a Keen, you're gonna click this little plus sign, type one in we'll just make one up right now um oh, what do i don't have a keen on okay i'm gonna make another cruise one so okay let's see if i can spell here everything princess cruise line or princess cruises what do i want to type this we'll do cruise lines whatever all right so let's go to next here is saved web searches so this will relate content that you can add into your keen so we're just going to add princess cruise lines we'll add uh, probably something about reviews they offer suggestions down here that you can click and add in so let's get this typed up all right create yay <laughs> it takes a few seconds it's still a little slow and buggy sometimes so just give it a minute. All right. So what you're going to notice here first is that a photo already generated. You can cr go back and add your own. I will show you how to do that. This explore section is a website that is pulled from the internet and suggested for you. Searches we'll talk about in a second. Gems we'll talk about. But if you want to save a gem, you click that little gem icon there and it's going to show up as one of your saved gems under your keen. So in essence, the equivalent is the pin on Pinterest. It is called a gem here on keen. All right, explore. All right, let's go to edit. All right, if you go under this advanced section, you can select how many times you want keen to search for new ideas for you. You can edit the name here, add a description, which we'll do right here. Da, 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 da. I swear my typing is on point today. And tips for princess cruise lines. Okay, I do talk to myself normally when I'm not on a video as well. <laughs> All right, so if you want to change the image cover on your keen, you just have to paste an image location here, um, which I'll show you how to do. I'm just going to grab a quick photo. This is not a princess cruise line photo, but I'm just showing you how to do it. Copy image location paste then you would just save it we don't want to save this so we'll hit cancel uh i hope that doesn't stay i think it doesn't i'm pretty sure it doesn't you'll see here in a second all right go back out to our board oh my god it's a keen 
Sorry, old habits die hard. Ooh, look, drink package, okay. Let's add this in. So now it is over in my gems with everything else. All right, next up, I'm gonna show you a, show you a more developed keen of mine. All right, let's hop down here. Click on it, as you can see, I have three collaborators, which I'm very excited about. All right, where to start, where to start. So you're gonna notice I have sections in here because I like to organize everything. Here's that explore section where we can add new things, search, here's some searches I have generated. Okay, let's see here. Let's go back to explore. Okay. All right, perfect. So this is my more developed board. If you want to add an article, that's what we're going to do next. If you want to add one of your articles as a content creator, all you do, go click the link. And this could be anywhere on the internet. I create content, so of course I'm going to pin my own, or pin. I'm going to add my own stuff. All right, I'm going to add this food one. I have a food and beverage section for Royal Caribbean. Click that, save, okay, here we go. All right, gems, now you will see it appears here under my gems. Okay, let's see here, all right, add. So if you wanna add a new section, you see how I have food and beverage and everything dictated out, this is where you would add a new section. You create a title, you'd add a description. So let's just add excursions from Royal Caribbean. I don't have something about that. Okay, here's my stellar spelling again. <laughs> I promise I'm actually a really good speller. I just kind of get lost when I type. All right, excursions and activities. All right, that cost extra. These are not the freebies. Because there's always a lot of questions about these. So it's probably actually a good section to have. All right, we'll save it. As you can see, I don't have any gems saved under here. Okay. Let's go over to that search section that we were talking about. I'm going to add a search section here. We're going to type in Royal Caribbean excursions. Click done. And then we go back to explore. Sometimes it will generate immediately sometimes it takes a minute if you're impatient like myself we can just go to add and then click add from search all right let's wait for this all to load up sometimes it will load up if it doesn't you can just type in up here royal caribbean excursions or whatever you're searching for all right look there's a couple ideas i'm just going to hit this first gem here and it will save when i go over to these three dots I can add it to that section that we just created under this keen. Okay, there we go. Get out of here, head back. Gems, there it is. So right there by my name, you see a bubble. You can leave comments there on keen. So that's a fun little fact that I actually just learned today. I'm not sure what the entire purpose of the comment section is. I guess we'll see. Maybe that's adding more of the social aspect. So if you have a section that you want to move to the top or move first, you just hit those little three dots like right there. Give it a minute and it will generate up towards the top. So another thing to keep in mind, the globe next to three collaborators means it's a public viewed keen. When you collaborate with somebody, I think it's a great idea to add web addresses. That way people can copy and post. Since you're doing all the work, you should get some credit. All right, let's see here, share. All right, if you wanna invite somebody to collaborate on your Keen, you just click this button, you can copy and paste a link, email them, WhatsApp, and then if you wanna share this Keen with your followers, this is the way that you do it there. Okay, if you click on this, you can actually skip to different sections, sort by contributor articles. When you click edit here, this is where you can make it public. Okay, head back. Let's head back to Keen itself. All right. So here's all my Keens. Another thing I want to show you is the next section will be the section that you follow. A Keen that I highly, highly recommend that you follow is this Welcome to Keen. This is a Keen that has been created by the actual developers over at Google. It's got some great troubleshooting features, you know, hop here if you have a problem first <laughs> versus going and searching the internet. There's some really great 
how-to articles. There is a feedback section where you can send them in some feedback and some questions. So I hope this has helped you. I'm really anxious to learn a little bit more about this platform. I will make another video if there are some big updates to add. You just need a Google account. I hope they do come out with an app for Apple later. But like I said prior, this is only available on Android. And if you're a content creator, I mean, why not? You're making the content anyways. One of the things that I think is really appealing about Keen is I'm not having to create the pictures. So. Well, that is it for me today. Make sure you check out my blog and subscribe. Until then, see you later. Bye.